Good morning from Functional Horsemanship. This this is for Justin from North Carolina who sent me an email saying he has a problem with his horse leading with him. His horse balks, his boy, horse wants to stop, and he can't get that horse to move on uh, without getting pulling him around in a circle. And you shouldn't have to do that. Although that's one way to move a horse, if he, if he stopped, you can move his front end or back end over, create some momentum, and keep him going. But that horse should really lead out when you're wanting to lead. Now I've got a hackamore on Junior here, and I'm, I don't like to get in the habit of leading by the rein, so I'm going to take my my get down rope here, feed that through my D ring on the Bosal, and use this as my ground lead line, like I would if I'm out on the trail and I got to walk through some rough terrain or whatnot. Remember your lead lines, you know, you don't coil them up like this and carry them. You want to S roll them like this so they don't get stuck around your hand in case that horse takes off on you. Now, if I'm going to lead this horse off, and you don't want to move, then I can I can use a, a crop like this, a short crop, and give them a little cue like I would in the saddle. Say, hey, hey, what are you doing? I can tap him in the back end. So if I lead him off, he won't go. He won't go forward. I take this crop. I want to tap him back here a little bit and get him to go. Every time he wants to stop, use that crop again. Boom. Turn around. I'll go from this side. Same thing, I go to lead him forward, he doesn't want to lead, just take that crop, move it back here, hit his back end. Of course, now he wants to lead himself, but that's fine. Let's go, Jim. We'll go, take that crop, tap him on the back, back of the rear end, back of the hawk here, get him going. Whoa. Back this way. Whoa. Justin, I hope that helps. When you lead that horse, he should rapidly lead with. If he doesn't, you know, don't let him learn that bad lesson. Uh, a bad lesson is a lot hard to break. So if you have to, get yourself a short, short crop like this. And again, all you're doing is reaching back there and just tapping his rear end on his butt or the top, uh, or the hocks, just creating a little discomfort, creating a little momentum forward, and that should maybe solve your problem. Functional horsemanship.